new chapter in U.S.-Chinese maritime relations began in April 1979, when the Liu Linghai, a vessel of China Ocean Shipping Group, sailed into the port of Seattle carrying goods from Shanghai. Over the past 30 years, Costco has experienced many ups and downs. Through the entire journey, there have been some hardships, but ultimately achievements as well. Costco, a state-owned shipping line formed in 1961, registered its Costco Americas subsidiary in California in 1982, three years after the Liu Linghai's maiden voyage to the U.S. It's about 30 years ago when Costco started the vessel line from here in the Elizabeth Terminal in New Jersey to China. And today we're going to take you inside of a Costco ship and take a look at the operations there. In 1982, two Costco Americas representatives managed a single vessel per month. The subsidiary now operates 23 lines a week on the east and west coasts with modern container vessel capacity of 8,500 20-foot equivalent units. Currently, our main route is between China and the Americas, but we will also be operating between the Americas and Asia, Europe, and other places based on U.S. customers' demand. Besides container shipping, we also plan to provide services in bulk commodity and tanker shipping, and other diversified services. Based in Secaucus, New Jersey, Costco Americas operates in 11 cities, including New York, Boston, Houston, and Long Beach, California. It employs about 600 people across the U.S., more than 90 percent of whom are local hires, including union workers. You know, Secaucus is a very diverse community, and Uh, we have a very mixed population, so a company like this, with their roots in China, and being here in Secaucus, could truly, truly benefit us. And to be here for 30 years and to be paying taxes here, they do employ so many people from this area. They, to that, to us, that is the most important thing that's happening here. A lot of people are here a long time. There are quite a few. And I was working for a Ukrainian company right before. It, this is a big industry, but it's a small world. And you get treated well. But previous to that, I worked for all American steamship companies. Very comfortable with, with Chinese, you know, whoever I'm working for. It makes you want to come to work. So it was a bit of a change, but I thought it was a welcome change, actually. It worked out great. I'm here and I'm happy. Always have been. Richard Lindinsky is an industry insider who has seen Costco develop in the U.S. Now chairman of the U.S. Federal Maritime Commission, which regulates U.S. exporters and importers' ocean transportation, Ledinsky was a lawyer for Baltimore's Port Authority in 1984 when he traveled in a delegation to Beijing in hopes of persuading Costco to open a shipping route to the Maryland city. In those early days, in the 1980s, after the normal relations were restored, it was very important that the first. People that had contact with American public, American ports, were people like Costco. Because not that people were afraid of China, people didn't know China. They were ambassadors to this country. The Costco is what we call a very good citizen. They understand all the rules and regulations, and they adhere to them. And we, as a government, appreciate that. Ah, and with our industry. With our industry peers, we share prosperity. With our clients, we share benefits and interests. This is the win-win strategy we have pursued. Liu wants his company to be able to navigate the U.S. market in peak competitive form. He stresses the importance of Costco's CKYH alliance with fellow Asian shippers such as Taipei-based Yangming Marine Transport Corporation and South Korea's Hanjin Shipping Company. The group shares a single vessel on some voyages, which helps each to enhance services and coverage. Shipping capacity has grown rapidly over the past two years, but growth in demand hasn't been as fast. Now, growth in shipping supply is far greater than demand, resulting in more ships than cargo and putting pressure on shipping enterprises, which is a difficult environment in which to operate. Costco's decision 10 years ago to open a shipping line between the port of Boston and China saved more than 9,000 jobs. The shipping company is described as reliable by long-term customers. If this world was problem-free, I'd be thrilled. But it's not that, and it's very important to have somebody who's part of your team. We always found with Costco 
the, the ability to recognize the issue immediately, tell us about it, and tell us of a solution that could help us work and get us back on, on track right away. We want to project a better image of Costco in the Americas, giving the region a better understanding of our company. We'll do more thorough research of the U.S. market and go deeper into it, improving service to our customers. We want our products to be well adapted to customers' needs. With ambitious goals, Liu and his management team, mostly Americans hired locally, understand the challenges facing the shipping industry and changing dynamics of U.S. and Chinese trade. There will be some changes in exporting during this transition, as China has a strategy of structural adjustment. The growth rate of exports has indeed dropped, which is the expected outcome of China's economic transition. It's important to consider how Chinese shipping companies adapt to market changes and deliver goods and services amid the transition. Yu Weijiang, China Daily, New Jersey.